tonight is the night that I risk it all. When that curtain rises, they will be sitting in the plush red seats of this theatre, highly paid doctors and lawyers, and all manner of privileged people from this city of ours. I'm not going to pretend that I know this will succeed or it'll go any further than this theatre tonight, but let's go out there and show them what a wee bit of imagination, a hell of a lot of hard work and a bit of magic can do. If we get it right, this show might just remind them of the people they used to be before their lives got slowly snuffed out with routine, responsibility and a million other cares and concerns that gradually killed off the playful, spontaneous child within. This play is about childhood, its evanescence, that time of conflicting joyous absolutes, the certainty that things will change and nothing will change and we'll all be home for tea, that things must be swept away but mustn't ever differ. And there's no harm at all or indeed inconsistency in wanting both. Captain Hook, you black advised scoundrel, <sighs> I'm relying on you as perhaps the most important character of my play. You are a sensual, cruel man of elegant fiction and profound melancholy and impeccably languid bearing. You are the tragic Captain Hook engaged in play to escape the adult world that Mr. Darling so enwrapped in. You murder without thought, but cannot sleep for worrying that you have displayed bad form. Your opening monologue. How still. The night is. Nothing sounds alive. Now is the hour when children in their homes are abed. I hear they play at Peter Pan. No one ever wants to be Hook. You, Peter! The boy who never grew up. I don't want to go to school and learn solemn things. No one's going to catch me, lady, and make me a man. I want always to be a little boy and have fun. You are the archetypal hero of your own time. You do what you want, when you want. You're incapable of true friendship and redefine right and wrong in the blink of an eye and demand ceaselessly to be the center of attention. You negate history, undermine the value of all achievements and render truth meaningless. You behave like a government. Thinks the fairy a most common fairy named Tinkerbell because she mends the fairy pots and kettles. You are the working class fairy always standing by and standing up for Peter. Your anger is always present as you rebel against the forces of oppression that threaten to crush and trap your beloved Peter Pan into a life of responsibility and maturity. So flit around the stage like torchlight and burble your make-believe language with a passion that comes from your svelte and angry fairy belly. Last, but not least, Wendy, dressed all in white and keeping with the troops of purity. Your joys and triumphs, your mistakes and heartaches are remembered and learned from by others, by those who come and see our story. They will relate to your dilemma, struggle between growing up and staying young. The terrible pain of losing childhood innocence and being forced to take on a world that you see increasingly quickly but with corresponding horror. Unlike Peter who is denied and forgotten in seconds, you will be the character in whom we will invest and measure our own inner pain, compromise and loss. Peter is nothing without those who tell tales about him. So tell your tales with passion and feel the pathos embedded within. For you, my dear, carry the weight of the world on your pretty young shoulders. So when that curtain raises, remember that what you do tonight will be remembered. You will be immortalized among the pages of history. Whether or not we are a success, whether or not our play goes on to bigger and better things, we will have done our job to tell people, nay, to remind people that you only get one chance at life. It is here. It is now. 
And if we lose the spark in a zillion meaningfully meaningless interactions and chores, then we have missed the point of our own lives. So speak your lines passionately and fully inhabit the lives of those you will bring to our audience. And maybe then they can rediscover the playful, spontaneous child within 